I still remember the moment it all began. Late one evening, the television was tuned to PBS. On the screen was researcher Anna Sofar, explaining how ancient builders at Chaco Canyon aligned stone, shadow, and sunlight with extraordinary precision. She described the sun dagger, the great houses aligned to lunar cycles, and how the moon takes nearly 19 years to return to the same point in the sky. And something struck me with force. This wasn't just archaeology. It was testimony, a record of ancient people reading the heavens as scripture written in light. That broadcast planted a seed in me. Since that night, I've stood three times among the ruins of Chaco Canyon. I've walked the deserts of southern Utah and Arizona, where rock and sky seem to speak to each other. And in those places, I found spirals carved into stone, circles winding inward and outward, echoing infinity. They are not decoration. They are encryption, holding within their curves the cycles of the sun, the moon, the seasons, and the eternal return of time itself. So far's work showed me that this was more than coincidence that a universal clock might be hidden in plain sight. This project, the universal clock, is not about certainty. It is about wonder, memory, and our oldest human pursuit. To understand how the universe keeps time. The ancients answered that question with architecture, petroglyphs, and ritual. Today we answer it with physics, cosmology, and mathematics. Different tools. Same longing. And yes, there will be critics. Some will say I stretch the biblical text. Some will say I dress mythology in scientific clothing. Others will dismiss pattern seeking as wishful thinking. I welcome them all. Disagreement means the conversation matters. This project is not an argument. It is an invitation. To look again at scripture, at stone, and at the stars and to ask whether the rhythms of the universe, ancient and modern, might be telling the same story in different tongues. If you wonder, even a little, then you are the audience I am creating this for. Thank you for watching this opening chapter of the Universal Clock Project. New research videos, mapping walkthroughs, and ancient site analyses are added regularly. To continue this journey, you can now listen to the audiobook versions online. Explore extended content at universalclockproject.com. If this project resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe.